Let's now have a look at a really cool feature in Autosoft which allows you to track serial numbers. So jump into the stock file and I'm going to put in a product that I've got where I track serial numbers. So I've just pulled up a, it's a, an engine, could be any sort of product that you want to track serial numbers on. Go to stock options and you'll notice down here you've got track serial number. Okay, so that's all you need to do for a product, just make sure that that box is ticked. Let's now go off and do an invoice for it. So if I uh, just do a cash sale, let's say, and I put in the actual product and I add it onto the invoice, what it's going to do is it's going to come up with a box to ask us to enter in the serial number. So if I put in the serial number and go OK, I'll then put that product onto the invoice. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a look at this on the screen and show you what it looks like on the printout. And you'll notice here that this has got the actual serial number. So the user who gets the actual invoice is going to be able to see the actual serial number. And we're also going to be able to track that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finalize this transaction. They're going to pay by cash. And that will print them out an invoice and, and do all the updating and all the normal stuff that that goes off and does. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into the transaction finder part. So if you go into the parts menu, there's the serial number finder. In here, you enter in the serial number that you want to find. So we put in 987654. If you click on find or press enter, what it will do is it will show you the transactions that that motor was sold on. And if this was a product that we reconditioned ourselves, it would actually show you the transactions that we reconditioned it on if the one or more transactions where that existed. So you can also track this through your reconditioning system, which is great for engine reconditioners or any sort of reconditioners. Uh, but it's also fine for when you're selling things like motors or radios or other things that you want to keep a serial number on so that you can get that serial number from that product and then go and find the actual invoice that it was sold on. So just double click on that or click on open invoice opens up the invoice you can see things like the date for warranty purposes or whatever the case might be so um, and you can reprint the transaction if you want or do whatever you normally would do when you've got a uh, an invoice open so really quick and easy way of being able to find a particular transaction based upon some sort of reference which in this case is the serial number so if you see a reasoning for you to use serial numbers in your business this is a really easy simple way of managing it and a really effective way of being able to track it back again when a customer comes back with a product or for you needing to find it for any other reason. Again, hope this has been valuable for you and I hope it makes your business more efficient. Thank you.